Hello, my fellow handicappers. This is Weekend Handicapper from WeekendHandicapper.com. In this video, we're going to provide picks and analysis for the 2021 Arkansas Derby at Oaklawn Park in Hot Springs, Arkansas. It takes place on Saturday, April 10th. It's race number 12, and they're going a mile and an eighth on the dirt. And it's one of the last derby prep races on the road to the Kentucky Derby. And it's, it historically, it's been a, a pretty good race that has some very legitimate derby contenders in it. This year, though, it's the field of six. I was very disappointed in that. Only six horses are running in this race. Many of them ran in the Rebel against each other the last time. So we'll see. We'll see what we can find and if there's any plays and how to bet this race. So it's race number 12 again on Saturday, April 10th. Mile and eighth on the dirt. Super stock for Steve Asmussen. It was fourth in the Rebel. Not a respectable, I guess, performance. Uh, I think, I don't know if this horse could win, but definitely use it underneath in his actus trifectus, super factus. Cattle River, fired a dud in my opinion. I was very disappointed in Cattle River. Uh, fifth, ran fifth in the Rebel. I thought that for sure that horse would be on the front end taking care of business. Didn't happen. And I think a big reason for that was the aggressiveness of Joel Rosario on board the, the horse concert tour, who we'll talk about um, here in just a little bit. But that, to me, that decided the race. To take that race to him on a good horse like concert tour was the difference. But Cattle River was disappointing. Now, can that horse do what I thought it was going to do in the Rebel, which is be pretty much dictate the terms on the front end, get that early lead. We'll see. I think other jockeys aren't going to let Joel Rosario do the same thing that he did in the Rebel, and so therefore you're going to have more company up front. So that might make a hot pace or a faster pace that Cotto River will be included on, which to me hurts his dis or hurts his chances, as does the distance. I'm not sure if Cotto River will like the distance of a mile and an eighth. And that's why it's all about the price. You, you hear me say this all the time in these videos. Don't take a short price on a horse that, one, didn't do so hot last time, but trying a distance that it might not like and the pace scenario might not set up well for it. Don't take a short price on horses like that. If it's two to one, three to one, that might be kind of fair for a horse like Cotto River, but anything less than that would... Probably not be too wise. Ha Hoser, Bob Baffert horse, second in the Rebel. Hey, hey, did did all right. Did all right in the Rebel, I think. I think that was a respectable effort. Could the other Baffert angle come into play for this race? I made videos years ago about this angle, and it's still potent every now and then. Uh, that, that means you got all the attention going to one Baffert horse this race, concerter for good reason, should your money go on the other Baffert horse that might have a chance um, to win here. I think the pace scenario sets up really good for the uh, ho ho hoser in this race, but definitely, of course, use it in your exactus tries and supers for sure, and hopefully we can get a decent price on hoser. Get her numbered. For Peter Miller, that, that was a disappointment, not a factor at all in the Rebel. Uh, we'll see how this horse bounces back, if it does. Uh, I recently read somewhere, it didn't, I think it was on the Pollock Report, which is a, a, a good website and, and that I enjoy reading the articles and keeping up to date with things. I believe it was on there where I saw Peter Miller. He didn't seem too confident in this horse. That don't mean anything. The horses I've known or I've heard trainers they were super confident and their horse didn't fire. And, and, the, and the exact opposite. Not confident at all and the horse won. And the, and the trainer was just as surprised as everybody else. So it's, it's just a weird thing. So who knows, but I, I'm not too confident in get her number. Back in my dating days, I, I wasn't too confident in getting her number either. <laughs> Concert Tour is our next horse, the legitimate morning line favorite. It's Concert Tour's race to lose for Bob Baffert. It's been working out well. Yeah, 
But it's going to be a short price. Are you going to take that, or are you going to wait a few weeks when this horse probably will be in the Kentucky Derby, and then you might get a better odds on the horse in a tougher field for sure. But, uh, hey, it'd be tough to try to beat Concerter. It's going to be a short price, but is it the horse that's probably going to win? Of course, that's why it's the, the favorite. But it has every, it's won the Rebel, it's undefeated, it's done really well, working out well. Pace scenario seems to work out for him. Should work out all right for him. But whether or not you should bet is another story. Then last samurai for Dallas Stewart is our last horse we're going to look at. Was fifth in the Southwest. This is a ho another horse. If the pace gets too hot up front, too fast up front early, this horse could benefit from it. I, I still have a hard time seeing this horse winning. But if you want to include a prize underneath, might want to include that. So... How am I going to bet the 2021 Arkansas Derby? I'm very disappointed in this race. This is usually a good derby prep race, a full field. We got six horses here. This is uh, kind of sad, honestly. A little bit disappointed in the. I remember last year, which, of course, 2020 was a unique beast, but they had two versions. Had so many horses, they had two versions of the Arkansas Derby. Uh, so, but this one, we got one, and it's got six horses in it. And I don't think it's a good betting race at all, honestly. Uh, if if I'm going to bet it, I might put a few bucks on Hoser, just because the, the other Baffert angle, it might offer better odds. Oh, I know it's going to offer better odds than horses like Cotto River or Concert Tour. So to me, that's that might be the only thing I do. I think I'm just going to sit and watch it probably watch a low price horse win but it to me the intriguing thing is the the pace scenario like i was saying earlier I, if you had money on concert joe el rosario the jock a jockey joe el rosario has been running out of his mind he's been these big stake races any race really he's been riding really well so anything that joe el rosario is on i would be confident that if you put money on, you have a really good chance of cashing your ticket, a, a bet. I love the way Joel Rosario rode in the Rebel. He took, he dictated the pace. He was aggressive with his horse. He knew what he had, and he knew if I if I can get out front, nobody's probably going to beat me. And I love that aggressiveness. Now, other people probably know that too. Now, other jockeys. And they're, gonna, they're, they're probably not going to let Joel repeat that, to do that again. If they do, then shame on them. So, which to me, purely speculating here, which is kind of what handicapping is, I'm thinking a, many people are going to go for the front end right now. So, not only Kyle River, but Steve Asmussen or Steve, Superstock might be out there. Of course, Concerters trying it again. Uh, get her number might be a, aggressive. So you're going to have a lot of horses that are going to go out to the front end, probably because they don't want that same thing to happen that happened in the Rebel. Therefore, I give the edge to Hoser that finished second last time in the Rebel, coming from off the pace. With the pace is a little bit hotter now, and you got more horses competing on the front end, then it might set up well for a horse like Hoser at decent odds, but it's going to be tough to be concerter. Uh, so from a fan perspective, from a spectator's perspective, it's going to see, it's interesting to see how well concerter does. If Cotto River can bounce back from that lackluster performance last time in the Rebel. And if I'm correct in assuming they, the pace might be a little bit more, a uh, little little bit more competitive up front so that's why if i bet it i'll just put a simple win bet on hoser the other bob baffert horse now who do you like in this year's arkansas derby one of the last prep rest races before we get to the starting gate first saturday in may in the kentucky derby disappointed in only six horses here but we got to work with what we got and hopefully you can grind out some some kind of winning wager I would love to hear who you like in this year's Arkansas Derby. Go ahead and leave a comment below who you like, if you're playing it, if you're skipping it, what kind of tickets you're playing. 
We're almost to the Kentucky Derby, so I'm excited. And uh, I'm still going to watch the Arkansas Derby. Whether or not I bet it, we'll see at post time what the odds are. But leave a comment below who you like. Best of luck to every one of you. Hopefully you hit all your tickets and make some money. And until next time, this is the Weekend Handicapper. Happy handicapping and smart wagering.